for friends and family gathering. What better party to host than the one where the guests make their own meal? That's one of the perks of hot pot, the communal meal where the guests will do their own dipping and dunking while sitting around a big bubbling pot of fragrant broth. Today, I will share with you several great ideas and recipes for hot pot that will definitely wow your guests, but will also save you a lot of time. So enjoy yourself. Oh yeah, Helen's recipes. Beef in fermented shrimp paste hot pot is a specialty from Benzu with the bold and intensive flavor from the fermented shrimp paste combined with the fragrant lemongrass scent and the fatty and crispy pot rice. You're gonna be amazed with the flavor combinations. First, finely mince two stalks of lemongrass. Next, dice up half an onion. Decore a quarter of a pineapple and thinly slice. Then finely chop one third of it. 100 gram of pot lard cut into small dices. Cook the diced pot fat in a clay pot for about 10 minutes, occasionally stirring until they release the liquid fat and becomes crispy. Transfer the pot rice into a small bowl. Into the remaining pot fat in the clay pot, add the minced lemongrass and diced onion and saute until fragrant. Add a tablespoon of fermented shrimp paste or mamru, stir well to combine, and then transfer one part of the sauce into a bowl. Add 400 ml of coconut juice into the clay pot. Also add the pineapple slices, bring to a boil, and then season with a teaspoon of sugar. Half a teaspoon of salt and a teaspoon of stock powder. Skim up the foam, then add chili slices and the pork rice. For the sauce, squeeze out the juice from the chopped pineapple and combine with the sauce we reserved earlier. Add the chopped pineapple, some minced chilies. You will serve this with some thinly sliced beef and a platter of fresh herbs. Place the bubbling hot pot in the center of your table. To serve, let the guests dip the beef into the hot pot. Remove when the beef is no longer pink and roll it with fresh herbs in a piece of rice paper. Then dip into that amazing tasty sauce. Wow, it's packed with flavors. So fresh and tasty. Next recipe is vinegar hot pot, where we will dip tuna instead of beef. Dip into the sweet and sour hot pot. The tuna will be cooked medium rare, turn so soft and tender. Combine with the fresh herbs in a row. And dip into anchovy fish sauce. This unique hot pot recipe is really to die for. Peel the green banana and cut into slices. Also thinly slice some green starfruit. Soak in a bowl of salted water to prevent darkening. Cut onion into slices. Also cut cucumber into long slices. Thinly slice a quarter of a pineapple. Finely chop half of it to make the dipping sauce. Cut tuna into sticks about the size of your finger. Season with 2 tablespoons of oyster sauce and a tablespoon of sesame oil. Some thinly sliced onion and mix well. Leave to sit for about 15 minutes. Combine 400 ml of coconut juice, half a cup of vinegar, 2 teaspoons of stock powder and a tablespoon of sugar. A few stalks of bruised lemongrass, the onion, sliced pineapple, chilies and bring to a boil. To make the anchovy dipping sauce in a mortar and pestle, add garlic, chili, a tablespoon of sugar and crushed finely. In a bowl, combine 3 tablespoons of anchovy sauce mixed with the garlic chili paste and 2 tablespoons of chopped pineapple. Stir to combine and season to taste with some more sugar and lime juice to get a perfect balance between sweet, sour, and savory. Next, in a pan, saute some minced garlic and chili until fragrant. Pour in the anchovy sauce, add half a cup of water, a teaspoon of stock powder, then bring to a boil and turn off the heat. To serve, dip the tuna into the boiling hot pot. Then roll in a piece of rice paper with the fresh herbs and green fruits. The spicy, sweet and sour anchovy sauce will bring everything together. Next recipe is Baby Octopus in Fermented Rice Hot Pot. You will love the special sweet and sour and spicy hot pot flavor with distinct taste from the fermented rice. Really yummy and unique. Remove the innards of the baby octopus, then rub with salt and cooking wine. Rinse well and repeat for 2 to 3 times to remove the smell. Roll up a few perilla leaves and cut into 5 strips. Finally mix some lemongrass and cut a few stalks in half. 
In a pan, saute some minced garlic, lemongrass, and chilies until fragrant. Next, combine half a cup of fermented rice or mae in Vietnamese with 500 ml of water. Stir well, then strain. Discard the fibrous part. Pour the fermented rice water into a clay pot and bring to a boil. Add lemongrass and a tablespoon of fermented shrimp sauce or mam tom, a teaspoon stock powder, a teaspoon of sugar, and a teaspoon of MSG. Then also add the fragrant and spicy satay mix that we made. Bring to a boil and skim up the foam. Then add the chopped perilla leaves and it's done. You will need some sweet potato leaves also for dipping. Dip the baby octopus and the sweet potato leaves into the boiling hot pot. Then serve with rice over Michelin. The fermented rice has really beautiful flavor, slightly sweet and sour, and combined with that fragrance flavors of the satay and great texture from the cooked octopus. What a treat! I hope you will try out these recipes for your next gathering with friends or families. Happy holidays, and I will see you then next time. Bye bye.